Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Crescent from Beauty by Crescent. I do makeup tutorials, lifestyle content, beauty reviews. So if you enjoy that type of content, definitely subscribe and join our channel. We'd love to have you. It definitely goes a long way in supporting this channel. Plus it makes sure that you never miss out on any videos. I was actually out makeup shopping and I grabbed a few of the products that I was interested in. I feel like I'm a little late to the bandwagon when it comes to makeup because we have been moving and I've just had a lot on my plate. And I finally, now that the boys are getting a little bit older, have a little, little bit more time to myself. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my thoughts on the Lancome Juicy Tubes. Again, I know it has been out for a while, but I haven't had a chance to review it and I kind of wanted to share with you my experience with this. And just know down in the comments if you've tried this gloss out, if you'd like sharing with you what I picked up. I picked up the Lancome Juicy Tubes. This is it right here. It's kind of like in this mirror packaging. The color is in 02 Spring Fling. So I really wanted to try it out because I was looking for an everyday gloss, something I could kind of throw in my purse. I'm really picky when it comes to glosses. It's certain textures that I like. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Before I try it on, I really wanted to kind of give you some facts or information about the Juicy Tubes from Lancome. Every press of this tube lip applicator delivers ultra gloss shine and the perfect amount of sticky texture which you'll want to apply and repeat. The lips feel lusciously juicy and cushioned for four hours of lasting hydration. Discover our cult favorites and our yummy flavors in three finishes. The glossier, the better. So I know some of you may or may not be turned off with the texture as far as it being sticky. I don't mind sticky glosses. I don't like it to where if you close your mouth and you see like those little lines, I don't like that sticky but I do like a little sticky so that I feel like it's gonna stay on my lips and last long. This is how it looks. It has a slight smell, it's not bad. It smells fruity. I probably use this as like a topper for my lips. Like I have my everyday go-to lippies along with my lip liner that I use and I would definitely use this as a topper color. As far as the feel of it, it does have like a sticky texture to where you definitely feel like it's, you can feel it on your lips. It's not sticky to where when you talk you see like those lines, which is what I said I didn't like when it comes to glosses. I do like it. So I definitely can see me throwing this in my purse. Now if you don't like sticky, I would probably recommend just putting like a light application on it, like kind of dabbing your lips a little bit with it, but it's not annoyingly sticky for me. I like the color, it's a clear color. It's one of those glosses and colors that you can't tell you have anything on your lips. So again, it's perfect for like an everyday nude lip combo. You guys know I love putting on my nude lips. I will normally go in with like my Charlotte Tilbury liner and lipstick and I put a gloss on top. So really quick, I just wanted you guys to see how it looks just by itself. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with my everyday nude lip. What I like to do is I go in with my KKW Beauty lip liner first, and then I'll go over it with my Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the color, color Foxy Brown. And then I also have on Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. These are my go-to lip combos. And then I put a gloss on top, but today we're gonna go in with the Juicy Tubes to see how this looks with it. Again, you don't have to go too crazy. I like to just kind of dab a little bit in the middle. And then a little bit on top, because when I have my lip combo on, I already have lip products on my lip and I don't like too much on there. So I only use a slight amount of this. I'm not going in heavy or like if I wasn't wearing a gloss, then I'd go in and put a little bit more like I did the first time. But since I already have my everyday lippy on, I'm only gonna use a slight amount of this. And that's why I like this. That's how it looks with my completed makeup look. I'm ready to go out, run my errands. As far as my thoughts on the Juicy Tube, I do enjoy it. I wanna wear it a little longer because some glosses can kinda of give you that white line after a while. 
So I will come back and let you guys know. So it's a little later. I started my review with you guys around three. It is about 5.54, 6 o'clock. So I wanted to come up here so you guys can kind of see. Honestly, I haven't really been doing a lot. Um, I've been just, you know, cooking dinner and making the boys lunches and stuff. So for the most part, I still have the majority of my lip on. My gloss feel like, it feels like it has worn down a little bit, but I haven't got those white lines on my lips. I have been drinking a little bit of water, not too much, but we are in probably going on two hours and it doesn't feel the exact same as it did in the beginning, but I still have gloss on. I don't know how it would do probably after eating or like drinking a whole bunch, but this is how it looks. It's still on, like I said, so I do give this my thumbs up at 3 30 so it's about two and a half hours right now so yeah i don't know if it would make it to four without reapplying but just on its own it feels like it's doing pretty good now again i'm getting ready to eat dinner and stuff so i know it'll be gone after that but i just wanted to come up here and just kind of give my final review on this gloss it has lasted me a few hours with slight eating and slight drinking so Definitely keep that in mind. I enjoy it. If you like sticky glosses, I think you you would like it too. Again, something that I am going to be throwing in my purse. You girls know I have a few glosses that stay in there. If you watch a few of my shorts, I do have like my Summer Fridays, my Fenty Beauty. All of those glosses are ones that I definitely recommend. So Lancome is definitely on the list. But yeah, so that's it, you guys. I wanted to wrap the video up here and just kind of share my final thoughts on this. Coming back to you a few hours later. So that's my thoughts on the Lancome Gloss. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.